Pinsky. Is that? I can tell if that's the Ryan Blaney. I mean, I would guess it's the Ryan Blaney, but I can't tell from here. Menards is the Ryan Blaney main deal. We'll find out here in a second. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll see doing if you do have questions let me know I'm trying to keep up with the uh, trying to keep up with the uh, comments the best I can but I'm also shooting video hey. from my big camera so I'm down here underneath with my big camera shooting video and getting shots for, for use later Favorite's coming up next, y'all. I don't know who that is. Oh, somebody asked where Bob is. Bob's right down there. Look at there. Here comes the old Chase Elliott nine, number nine Napa hauler. That's what y'all are waiting for, right? Our buddy Devin Austin drives that truck. Who's winning goal number one and two? Probably, gosh, who knows? The RFK car. Well, give me a shout out. That's your favorite right there. I think everybody likes Chase Elliott, right? And make sure y'all hit the like, follow, subscribe, whatever it is, button, share it around, let people know this is on. A good number of y'all in here now. Thanks for, thanks for jumping in. Tell me your favorite drivers. I want to see those comments pop.
likes the big trucks because they have lights on. Is that, is that what we're gonna say? Is that not good? Trucks have lights on. Thumbs up and put some Denny Hamlin fans in the house. Oh. 
comments if you'd like. I know it's coming. How's it going? Pretty loud. Reminder, I do have a YouTube stream going at the same time. That should be seeing a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff coming in. Hit that like button, hit the share, follow, make sure people know about it. We still got a little ways to go here. We got another 2311 truck man. Look at that one. That's what a nice looking rig. That black and white scheme is pretty sweet, huh? Let's see, this has got to be, I guess, Tyler's. They're only running two this year. They're not running the third car, if I remember correctly. That's pretty bad. What do y'all think? Yeah, that's the Tyler Reddick rig. They're leaving the space for another. They got some spaces open that they've got to put a truck in in a bit. For, uh, I think they said hospitality on one. Somebody asked about the Truex, Truex trucks right there. I'm back. I had to walk away for a second. Yeah, the truck drivers do a lot of jobs. There's, you know, different truck drivers do different jobs on, on, the, on a given team. Some of them may, you know, go over the wall like a fuel can guy. Some of them may, you know, just be support in the in the pits. A lot of jobs. So they did do a combination parking job for this part. Backside here. But they're sort of splitting it in half. A couple of trucks in the back, a couple of trucks in the front. So you got the Stuart Haas trucks down there in the front row. The Emerling Gaze Motorsports truck, which is, I guess they've got a, one of the, I think that's the third front row truck. That's what it is. That's the uh, third front row entry. And you've got the following trucks. Fire trucks. Here comes the RFK truck. Most of the non-charter trucks are going to be back here unless they're affiliated with a top point charter team. 
got the third fire truck going in. So that's the 71. That'll be what uh, Nathan Smith drives. And you've got the Corey LaJoy's truck there on the far left and the Carson Hunch of our truck in the middle, it looks like. And again, I do have a YouTube stream going. The YouTube stream is also Chris A Video. If you want to check that out. Hit that like button, hit the share button. If you don't haven't seen me before, I, I do a lot of NASCAR coverage with a lot of NASCAR content on my TikTok page and on my YouTube pages, Facebook page as well. Twitter's the same, Chris 8 Video, so if you want to hit me there, it's a little more, you know, this and that. Certainly, lots and lots of uh, NASCAR content across my social media platforms. I appreciate you guys popping in here, and I'm going to hang with you until the last truck's parked on the front side. Looks like Legacy Motor Club's up next. And then uh, Track House. So we got a couple here to see, and then I'll pop back over to the front. But I do have a live YouTube stream going on the front side under Chris A. Video, also on the on the YouTube side. Also, plan to be with me tomorrow. We're going to live stream on TikTok here from Media Day for a certain amount of time, probably somewhere in the one o'clock hour. Uh, one, one to three maybe. We also have a live stream sit down interview with a bunch of drivers that will be on our on my station's pages, uh, Fox, myfox8.com. Uh, I'll have some links to that, but we're gonna do, we're, my two sport tankers will sit down with all of the, after, a lot of, a lot, most of the afternoon drivers. I saw Trucker Tony pop in the comments. What's up Trucker Tony? I just saw you pull in over there, buddy. Y'all are doing a great job here. Got, got everybody commenting. All I ask is don't talk crap because there's no reason to talk crap about these guys. They, these race car drivers that drive these cars are freaking heroes. There's no way any of you in the comments could do what they do. I mean, I'm just saying. Unless you were a race car driver, you're not doing what these guys do on these tracks. We can, we, I think Denny Hamlin said it in that Facebook special. We can, we can take a basketball and hit three-pointers. We can probably hit golf balls really far. Nobody's getting in a race car doing what they do. We gotta get into the space for that, no matter what the car drivers on iRacing. It's different in real life. So I got out there in some NASCAR uh, experience cars and you feel like you're going fast and they tell you you were going 40 miles an hour slower than what they race at. How, how do they do that? Uh, I mean, maybe you've done it. There might be some race car drivers in here, but if you've never done it, don't say you could because you can't. I, I'd bet the house on it. Dominic, what about Larson? I didn't see if you had a new uh, a new thing. I might have missed it. I'm trying to keep up the best I can. <laughs> Master Carpenter, that's awesome. Big man, to say you're joking, and that's fine. I, I can joke about it too. I thought until you jump in a real car doing even the even the hot laps. I did the hot laps around Daytona last year. Drove this track. I went 160 miles an hour and thought I was flying. So you know, you never know. Again, I'm Chris Weaver and I am photojournalist at the Fox station in North Carolina, Fox 8 in Greensboro, High Point, Winston-Salem. Cover a lot of NASCAR. Got a lot of NASCAR teams in my backyard up toward the triad. RCR is right around the corner. A lot of the Xfinity teams there. Colleagues right there with the RCR guys in that area. If you watch the Netflix series, give the thumbs up or hit the yes button. Hit, hit yes. I want to know how many people watched that series and how much more respect did it give you for what these guys do. That, that was, you know, as a TV guy, I loved the way it was produced. As an NASCAR fan, 
I love the way it was told. It was excellent. Watching from High Point. Good job. Watch our coverage at 10 o'clock. We've got a little something more coming at 10 and all week, obviously. Watch our specials. Let people know. Kind of sitting here watching the Legacy trucks get in the spot. They've got a tough gig right there. To, to get swung around for their spots on the end is tough considering they're coming in that gate right there. also have the other stream going on the YouTube side that's on the front over there still just sort of sitting by itself watching them park on the front appreciate all the shares and likes and everything keep hitting that like button share it out make sure you go back and check out my profile page when you're done lots of good stuff on there especially hit the follow button that helps me out a lot and when I can, I will always post a video of the big trucks arriving at the racetrack. I, I can get them a couple of times a year at all the tracks I go to. I'll go here, I'll go Martinsville, Bristol, Darlington, North Wilkesboro, Charlotte. And I'm trying to decide on, a, on another track. I'd like to go back to Chicago this year, but I think, you know, I don't know, maybe that, maybe Dover. What's up from Conover? How's it going? As far as having your CDL and wanting to do this, get some experience under you. They're going to want some experience. Have a clean record. And then watch for the small teams. Timmy Hill had a part time opening for the truck team, maybe his Xfinity team. But Timmy Hill's Hill Motorsports had an opening earlier this year that they filled. It was a part time job, but somebody got that job. And they'll hire three experienced drivers because they would want a little bit of experience. And then we'll move up from there. A good handful of part-time opportunities are almost always available. Get to know somebody who does it. Get to know somebody who knows somebody who does it. But it is a hard job. It's not easy. I don't know this truck was parked almost first. I can back up there in a minute. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, think about all the teams across all of the series. ARCA. Trucks, Xfinity, Cup. Comes the RCR Brigade.
Yeah, they come in and park in a certain order. All of the teams, their trucks will be parked together. So you see right there in front of me, the two track house trucks are as together as they're going to be. They're, they'll put a, they may put a hospitality or industry type truck in between. That's the question. Yeah. Comes the Austin Dillon hauler with my buddy Rooster at the wheel. Been driving that uh, RCR for years. Rode with him last year for the North Folks for a hauler parade. If y'all saw that, that was another YouTube live stream we did and live on the Fox 8. Live with him in that truck going to North Folks for last year. It was awesome. If I understand correctly, shakedown laps to set speed and all of that. Uh, to the best of my ability from reading the, the, the notes. Pace car. Anybody want to guess how fast he's running? Probably running 120. He's flying for a street car, I know that much. There you go. We got the uh, 2023 Daytona 500 champion team in. With the RCR driver at the track house. We got RFK. You got 2311. You got Gibbs, and down there you've got the Hendrick cars, and then the 